my name is Kate Galetto, and I'm the principal of Galetto Real Estate, a boutique agency covering the lower North Shore of Sydney from Mossman to McMahon's Point. Now, if you're thinking of selling your home now or in the near future, then listen up. I'm just about to help you maximise your investment. Now, just a little bit about my company first. The success of my agency is based on the old fashioned principles of solid service integrity and attention to detail, but backed up by modern day technology. Buyers in the marketplace today are cashed up, but time poor. They require information instantaneously. And as a seller, the agency you need to appoint is one with a finger on the pulse. My company is dedicated to customer service, so much so, that we actually limit the number of properties we are selling at any one time to make sure that your home is our number one priority. You are our main focus. You're not melded in with dozens of others. We also pride ourselves on developing individual marketing strategies to give you the edge when exposing you to the buying public. The conveyor belt mentality of the larger agencies just doesn't produce the record prices which sellers have come to expect in this market. The one-size-fits-all approach no longer cuts it in a market such as ours. An individual approach is by far the most successful way of achieving the best price possible. Now these are my top 12 tips for achieving a premium price for your property in today's market. Tip number one is clever marketing. Now one of the most important things that you can do for your sale is to make sure that your property stands out above the crowd. Now as a small agency, this is something we focus on daily. Naturally, we are competing with big agencies, so we need to have a unique point of difference to make us stand out to be chosen by a vendor. Our branding is the marker of our success. This DVD is of course an example of us standing out from the crowd along with our bright pink marketing material and our unique and often quirky style of advertising. Now if I were to market your property for instance, I would firstly work out its unique point of difference. Every home has something remarkable and newsworthy about it and I take the time to work this out. This then gives me your true target market. It breaks my heart to see so many advertising dollars wasted by marketing properties to the wrong target market. An interesting exercise you can do when thinking about hiring an agent is to focus on a couple of their advertised properties. Read the marketing material, view the home, and see if the advertising correlates with both the property and the pricing. In so many cases, the message is confused. The pricing is all over the place, and for the owner of the home, this is costly both in time and dollars, and often leads to an unsuccessful sale. Time equals money when it comes to a property staying on the market for too long. I have to say, it can also have an extremely negative effect on the buyers. My next step, if you so choose, would be to personally undertake a guided video tour of your home, duplicate the discs, and give them out to prospective purchases in the open home goodie bags. Oh, I'm a bit ahead of myself here. We also give out goodie bags at our, our open homes, which are filled with bottles of water, chocolates, brochures, um, floor plans, and other important data, all handed out freely in our Galetto Real Estate goodie bags. Yes, this is another point of difference and something which also helps your property to stand out from the crowd. Will your home be remembered? You betcha. With their very own DVD, your home can be viewed again and again by buyers when they're considering which home to buy. When choosing your agent, you need to ask them, what kind of marketing skills can you offer us? The one size fits all approach is yesterday's marketing. In such a competitive market, your home needs a unique and refreshing approach to make it stand out from the crowd. 
your agent of choice should be able to offer you something outside of the square. Tip number two, make sure your advertising copy is accurate and informative. Make sure your ad stands out in the crowd. This is incredibly important. I personally write all the advertising copy. Why? Because if I live and breathe the home, then I can write emotionally charged copy. Alternatively, if I send in a copywriter, which is what most large agencies do, the copy is bland, repetitive, and identical to other properties. Your home blends in with all the others in the market. Now, why is this important to you as a seller? Because strong and gutsy advertising copy will bring in your buyers. Selling property is a numbers game. To put it bluntly, the more bums on seats, the greater chance of achieving the best result possible in the current market. Tip number three, use only top quality professional photographs. A picture does in fact tell a thousand words. I make sure to accompany the photographer and decide on the shoot. This is not left to an assistant or an unqualified staff member to organise. With the increased use of the internet and the access for buyers to view copious photos of the home online, it is essential for the photos to be both professional and accurate. Photography is essential to achieving a quality price. Any agency, and there are some out there now who are insisting on providing buyers with only two or three photos to supposedly encourage more buyers to attend the open homes, are doing an injustice to both the home and the seller. Sure, their numbers at the open homes will be at a record high because they provided so little information to the buying public but the quality of inspection is pitiful for the seller. So why do they adopt this strategy? Because these large agencies are looking for tomorrow's vendor. The more buyers they get to your open home, the more chance they have of securing a new listing down the track. Tip number four. Choose an agent who has built up strong relationships and a working database. As a seller, you are probably not aware of the importance connected with an agent developing really good relationships with the buying public. This is really crucial for the success of any agent and any seller. I've spent years working with buyers who trust and respect my judgement. Should I list your property and feel that it is the ideal home for one of my clients, just one call from me can be enough to clinch the deal. Why? Because I work with a passion and respect for my clients and they trust my opinion and advice. This relationship is priceless to a seller and this sets me apart as an agent. Of course, a database is only useful if it's constantly updated and clients are called regularly. Tip number five. Now spend the dollars to style your home if necessary. There's no real dollar value that can be placed on the presentation of your property, but it does make sense to present the property as professionally as possible. You only get one chance at making a first impression, and so it's vitally important to make that count. I will be able to advise whether furniture styling is required or whether a good old clean up and declutter will suffice. The presentation of the home can really affect the bottom line. Cutting back here can cost you dearly with your eventual sale price. Tip number six, be prepared to offer full disclosure. Why not get a pest and building report done on your home prior to the campaign starting and give it out to prospective purchasers? With this information, forewarned is forearmed. Both you and the purchaser know everything about the home and more importantly, this stops last minute renegotiations taking place and guess what? It protects your pricing. Tip number seven, make sure to use an agent you can trust. Now if you've picked a name out of a hat without doing some research on both sales results and relationships with previous vendors, then the chances are that you're unsure as to the credibility of the agent. 
My recommendation would be to ask for phone numbers of the owners of the last 10 properties listed, not necessarily sold. This is a much better way of finding out about the ethics and business acumen than asking for testimonials which are usually biased towards successful sales. If the agent refuses to put you in touch with those owners, it's a clear indication that what he or she proposes in a presentation to you might not necessarily stack up once the campaign begins. Choosing the wrong agent can be an expensive mistake. Tip number eight, choose superior negotiation skills. Now you need to choose an agent who can negotiate professionally and keenly. This skill in an agent can generate hundreds of thousands of extra dollars for you when you're selling your home. Test the agent, listen to their role plays, and see if they have what it takes to get you the best price. Tip number nine, choose an independent agency for personal committed service. The large franchise agencies usually use their size convince owners that not one agent but the whole company will be working on your sale. And this is actually a bit of an untruth. Your chosen agent works for a commission from you which comes from the successful sale of your property. There's absolutely no way he or she will share that commission with the rest of the office or even other franchised offices. Small agencies work tightly they're more focused on your individual property and do not use less qualified staff to service you. They are usually hungrier to achieve a mind-blowing result in such a competitive industry. And after all, isn't that what you're really after? Tip number 10, choose an agent you can work with. If you or your partner don't feel comfortable with an agent at the presentation and have some reservations, don't appoint them as your representative. The relationship between seller and agent is a very close and emotive one and you will be speaking and seeing the agent daily during the course of the campaign. It's vitally important that you feel that there is both empathy and professionalism on offer here. You need to appoint an agent who is prepared to stand by their knowledge and experience and disagree with you if need be. It also means that come the crucial stage of negotiations, you can trust them explicitly to get the best possible price for you and to do the right thing by you. Tip number 11, find out the core principles of their business. Now you need to know this about your chosen agent and agency. If there are no underlying core principles of the business, then there is no depth or integrity in their business dealings. Jump onto the agency website and see if their mission statement sits well with you. Tip number 12, be prepared to pay a strong commission. Now many sellers get too focused on the cost of the agent instead of what the agent can do for them. The cost of an agent is immaterial if your property gets sold at the best possible price in the current market. Paying 1% to an average agent can mean a loss of hundreds of thousands of dollars in the eventual sale price. Be prepared to pay more to a high caliber agent and the sales result should far exceed your expectations. Now, as a final point, your method of sale needs to be discussed closely with your chosen agent. The choice of private treaty sale or auction depends on the home and the current market and what you feel comfortable with. Your agent needs to be able to explain the best path for you to take to get the best results. Selling your home is one of the biggest decisions of your life. Usually, it is your biggest asset. There is absolutely no doubt that the agent or agency you choose will greatly affect the sale price you eventually achieve. I do hope that this commentary has given you some food for thought and I look forward to meeting you and would relish the opportunity to discuss any of these points 
in more depth with you.